Hi everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me. Today I'm excited to be joining Ulta New for their July blog hop. I love their designs. I've been friends with Tasneem and Jen for a long time and I'm so excited to be able to join them. I am starting with this halftone happy stamp set. This is cool. Big happy sentiment with all these little coordinating little sentiments that can go with it. And I already stamped it on a Nina Solar White panel with some Memento Tuxedo. And then I stamped it on some Eclipse masking paper, trimmed it out. Yes, it took some time. I didn't show all that, but I did that behind the scenes. And then now I'm adhering that over top because I want to mask off. This card has quite a bit of masking and it's just one of those things that had to be done. A little bit tedious, but I like doing tedious. I like to do things the hard way. So now I'm starting with this layered Lily stamp set. Gorgeous multi-step stamping Lily images. I'm starting with Sweet Blush. I'm using Paper Tray ink inks. Now I know Alta New has very similar colors and I don't have any of their inks. Hint, hint. No, but I... I do think that you could probably use the Alta New inks and get just gorgeous results as well. But since I don't have them, I'm using some paper tray ink. I'm starting with Sweet Blush. And this next one will be Hibiscus Burst. And that's my mid-tone. So I start light, and as I work towards the center and add more detail, I get darker and darker. So the next color is going to be Raspberry Fizz. And here's even more detail, and it just gets more gorgeous. Is gorgeouser a word? Gorgeouser and gorgeouser? I don't think it is. Okay, and then for the very center of the little... Oh, by the way, I'm stamping this off on another little scrap of Eclipse masking paper, and I'm going to trim that out when I'm all finished. But I got a little more detail to add, and I'm stamping this center of the lily with Scarlet Jewel, as well as these little... What are these things called? They're not antennas, <laughs> but they kind of remind, they're like the center little pokey outy things from the lily. Yeah, you can tell I'm not a botanist. Okay, so then once we got that all, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. You don't have to do any coloring and you get beautiful um, detail in your lily. Okay, so now I'm going to trim out that mask. And the reason I'm masking off the big large sentiment and the lily is because I'm crazy. Yes, I am crazy. And I want to stamp leaves behind the lily. So you have to like know what's in the background and what's in the foreground. Got me? So my leaves are the furthest thing in the back. And I'm stamping those in limeade ice. And then the lily is in front of the leaves. And then the happy is in the forefront of the show. Yes. So now I'm adding a little bit detail to the leaves and using Simply Chartreuse. I'm lucky, I'm lucky ducky because uh, these paper tray ink colors have so many that kind of go together. So, and I think, I believe Alta New has that as well, like uh, uh, a light and then a mid-tone and then a deep one, which is just perfection for multi-step stamping. You really need stuff like that. Same thing, you know, it's the same idea you do with Copics, only you're doing it now with stamping. It goes a lot quicker. Except for all my masking makes things very complicated. But hey, you know, these are the things you got to do when you want to do one layer wonder. I've said it before. So now all the stamping is done with my lily and it's time to remove the masks. This is the most exciting part. When you remove that mask, you get to see all the glorious detail and all the perspective that you've created in still keeping with a one layer. And um, this is a very exciting time for my family right now. We are leaving in the morning and we're going on vacation. We've been waiting all summer, all summer, all summer. And the family is excited. We're going to Disney. We are, and it's going to be hotter than the blazes. But we're doing it because this is the only time we can. We can't do the fall and the winter. Everybody's too busy with hockey and sports. And so we're doing it right in the heat of the summer. Yes, indeed. But we're just going to take it easy. We're not going to blow ourselves out. I think, I hope, we're just going to, you know, play it by ear, maybe do a little park, do a little pool, do a little beach, not, not go too crazy, but little Emma, the five-year-old, is literally coming unglued. You know, she's at that ripe age for all those Disney characters, and the rest of us are just 
giddy about going to Epcot and seeing all the all the countries of the world. We're just really into that. And most of all, most importantly, over everything is the food. We are going to have some good food. We better have some good food because that's what it's all about, right? So uh, a little sun, and I hope to have some good seafood. And now, I it doesn't anybody even care about the card anymore, but I'm popping it up with some fun foam using my Tombow Mono, and it looks like I'm using an excess amount. But, you know, I want to make sure it's nice and secure. Popping this up on a soft stone card base. And just to finish it off, let a little something, something, just to zhuzh it up. Some sparkling clear sequins, pretty pink posh. I love them. You know I love them. With the three different sizes, I adhered those with some glossy accents. And this card is finished. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your hop. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.